This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Whoa, you're like, what do you got sitting here? Well, this is the Air Venturi Avenger in 25 cal. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna take a moment just to sigh. We actually got this gun, I think last week and I ran it through its paces. And uh, just to see, you know, you're talking about a $299 PCP entry-level PCP to get people into shooting uh, and you know PCP and it comes with an eight shot mag okay that's that's a nice side lever like that uh, here's another great thing for 299 we have our fill pressure on our left and our reg pressure on our right we got almost I think the barrel length is about 23 inches very close to 23 Overall length is almost 43 inches, so that, I like that. 180cc uh, air tube, okay, got that. The trigger is uh, adjustable. It's unbelievable, it's a two-stage trigger, so that's incredible for, we're talking 299 here. There's no sales pitch here. This is me saying what I think about an air gun, and this is something. Also for your bipod. You got a pick rail here. You got your Weaver and Picatinny rail on top. You know, there were so many features to this gun, but we didn't even get to the best part yet. So this gun can fill to 300 bar for 299, 300 bar. And here's what, you can adjust the reg. You can adjust the hammer spring. I don't even know what to say for the price point that this is. The one thing that I did notice that grabbed your attention, you know, it did for me during the week, was its accuracy. It was just crazy. Um, for $299 and we were shooting it, yeah, I, I can honestly say this is one gun that you, you get and, and you shoot it and you're like, holy cow, the trigger's so nice, so is the accuracy. But then the gun weighs six pounds. There's so many cool features to this that I was blown away. And I think this gun moving forward, I, I, I have the 22, I'm sorry, 25 here, and, and Donnie, I think Reed from Baker Air Guns, I think he's got a, a 22 that he's running, and uh, just the shooting lights out. So I just wanted to go over some of that and talk about it, and, and uh, well, that's enough talking about this thing. Let's get to shooting. Okay, well, here we are ready to shoot our five-shot group. We got the FX-25. Uh, we're going to give these a shot here. These are like 25-3-9s, and uh, we're shooting at 50 yards. And the optics we have on top is a center point 3 by 12 by 44 and this is a mil dot, uh, mil hash uh, scope that I, I really like for entry-level PCPs. I think this is the perfect scope. No, it's not a sales pitch. It's just a scope that I think is great for an entry-level enough talking let's shoot some targets let's see how this thing is doing at 50 plus $2.99? Shut up. Take my money. Woo! Wow. That is a heck of a group, Ryan. That's 50 plus yards, my friend. Son of a gun. Okay, it's time for some chronograph numbers with the FX 2539s. And man, did they just shoot lights out in the accuracy test that you just saw? I mean,. I don't know if you can see that in my hand, but I'll have Ryan do a close-up there. Pellet on pellet on pellet at 50 plus yards. So, well, we're going to shoot a mag for you so you get to see the chronograph. Um, so it's 25 3.9s at, uh, well, let's see how fast they're going. And then uh, we'll see how many foot-pounds. They say about 45 foot-pounds, so let's see what we get. 
That's ridiculous. Eight hundred eighty four. Eight hundred eighty eight. Eight hundred ninety three. Eight hundred eighty eight. I don't think anything, I don't think any of those eight shots and, um, we filled it to 230 bar. I didn't even fill it anywhere close. I normally don't. I go to 250 anyway. So I filled it to 230 to shoot that shot string for you. But that's, if you want the perfect, my opinion, harmonic tune for a Diablo pellet, especially uh, like this, uh, 880 to 910. That's it. I mean, can they shoot faster than that? Yes. Can they shoot lower than that? Yes. But I found a, for all guns with this pellet to be in that range, whether it be 177, 22, 25, 30. And I'm not saying they can't be accurate at, at different speeds, but I felt like if you want to take the wide variety of range of guns, that's, that's the tune right there. And you can see we're sitting right in there, and you can see the consistency there. I mean... The accuracy test just blew me away, okay? But I knew that going into it. But then to sit here and really just shoot those eight shots and, and see how close they were, I mean, that's, this is, this is a game changer here. That's, to me, is incredible. And then all the things that you got here, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think definitely, I think this is a Marauder, like a Marauder mag uh, kind of look, style. So just so you guys know, um, wow, wow. Well, let's do the trigger pull test. And let's see what we get here. So, wow, one pound, 13 ounces. I know the, the sun's on this pretty hard right now. It just happened to come out. So, all right. That one broke right at about two pounds. So, eh. this is factory stock. Everything that you see in this video, we've done nothing, no mods at all, because we always want to show them at stock, unless we say it's a custom gun, you know? One pound, 14 ounces. I mean, this is a lot of gun for the, the money that you're putting into it, you know. Uh, you're getting a lot for your money. I'll, I'll just say that. Another thing I want to talk about, the trigger itself, I'll have Ryan do a close-up, but this trigger is like the half-moon feel. So when, it, when you put your hand into this stock, and they did a lot of thinking here. When you put your hand in here and you put it on that trigger, it's not really a super blade. It has a little bit of width to it, so you can feel it even a little bit better with your trigger finger. And what I mean by that is any guys, when you shoot different triggers on all these different guns, you got different pull points that people use. If you're out here, you can pull, you know, you can pull to one side or the other. You're in here, you can pull it back to the left, out here to the right. I'm right-handed in the center. But with this, you can feel it. And you're like, that's just nice and clean. And uh, for it to be adjustable, man very very nice well here we are at the end of the day here at the range and and filming with the avenger uh, 25 cal uh final thoughts on this guy unbelievable all the different features that are here and it, it, even the little ones that were thought of you know with just even having being able to have your your red gauge your pressure gauge and then even your fill cap being able to do like three or four turns and it comes off foster fitting no no fill probe. I mean, got a barrel band here. There, there's the little things were thought of with this gun. The weight, yeah, it's plastic. Okay. Well, that's why we're at that 299. But when you got that accuracy and that consistency that you were seeing, even with the regulator, how it performed, it was pretty amazing. 
I, I, I'm overall super impressed. Uh, in, in our videos, we always love to show the accuracy and we love to have fun. So we are going to show you a clip uh, of, uh, uh, we did some uh, shooting some candles at, uh, can I out in a candle, actually three candles at 50 yards. Just shots what I discovered was uh, it was shooting just a hair left but take a look all three wicks are intact and you could tell when I shot the flame went out this is Rick with shooter 1721 I'm telling you this Avenger keeps shocking me just touching the wick just to show the accuracy of the gun and again just having fun uh, doing some trick shots because during film day, review day, throwing trick shots in, it's always sometimes just good for us to keep it separate. It puts a, We put a lot of time into, into doing this, and uh, the trick shots are something we did. So when it looks like I'm in a different area, I, I am. But I just wanted to mention that. But if you're giving yourself and you want to start into um, getting into PCP shooting and uh, air guns, 299, the Air Venturi Avenger gets a huge thumbs up from shooter 1721 i am super impressed this is rick from shooter 1721 thanks for watching